Okay, world, the lift is finally off the motor. Wow, what a milestone. Alright, so we're going to tighten that. Um, you see where my socket is. We're going to tighten that to 56 newton meters. So I got the torque wrench right here. And let's see. You see, I already got it set to 56. Yeah, that's 56. Right there. So now I got to find out. What's the torque spec for these four bolts right there? All right, now I'm doing these four at 38 newton meters. couple of things I get got to get hooked up in this area but for now I'm just focusing on all the mounting points so I could get the cherry picker off the motor Now that all the mounts are in, I got the load off of the this guy right here. I'm just gonna lower the lift a little bit more. All right, the engine is officially inside the car, man. make room so we can back this out of the way so now it's a matter of hooking everything back up I have half of the wire harness I need to reinstall I got the the clutch hydraulic line got the gas line to the high pressure fuel pump we got to put the power steering pump back on all these coolant lines and um yeah the ecu got to get hooked back up and from there we'll start working on the front and the front i gotta put the serpentine back on the the coupler for the intercooler and then hopefully we can do the front of the car all right now that i have the the straps off of the motor the cherry picker is down um, you see this this nut right here so there's a bracket this bracket that holds the O2 sensors and right now I got to put back in this oxygen sensor right here this goes in right here like that and then we're going to use a wrench um, 7 8 right here Let's make it snug okay and then we're going to take out this little bolt Now 
if you look carefully at the bracket you can see it only goes on there one way you see the indentation of the hardware so that means it goes on like this and it has that little hook guys are going that other hole up there that stops the bracket from twisting twisting around So I'm going to tighten this guy. I'm not going to use any Torx spec for this bracket. I'm just going to use my judgment. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down. Now you guys can see how both O2 sensors sit in the bracket. And then we got the two wires right here. That probably goes to the second part of the wire harness that I got to put on. And then, for the most part, the down pipes are lined up pretty good. So all I got to do now find the hardware and the gaskets and then this guy gets mounted over here like that and then we have a plug from the wire harness I gotta go over there too that's probably for the reverse light and then but I probably gotta put the heat shield in back first so I'll put the heat shield in back and I'll do the exhaust So I just connected this gas line there and now I'm going to connect this part of the AC line. This is a, shit, a T40. So this is what we're going to be using to uh, clean the remaining intake ports. I'm going to manually clean it myself. So right here I got this from Harbor Freight. It's a bunch of wire brushes that can get attached to a drill. It has a drill attachment. I got some picks, got some gloves and some glasses for safety. We got brake cleaner and then we got this intake valve cleaner which is pretty expensive almost ten dollars a can and then I got some gunk engine degreaser and this is gonna be my drill that I'm gonna use attachments with and some shop towels um, I have a 22 millimeter socket so I can rotate the motor I need to rotate the motor so I can close the valves that way no debris doesn't go down into the piston or the cylinder chamber. Um, I had these napkins here so I don't drop anything in the holes by accident. So I'm gonna leave all the holes closed except for the one that I'm working on. All right, so I got the attachments here. White is nylon, gold is brass, and gray is steel, softest to hardest. Um, we don't wanna damage the metal. We just wanna clean the carbon deposits from the intake ports. So I'm going to go with the nylon. So I'm going to use the extension nylon brush and then my drill. And then I'm going to take some uh, brake cleaner. I already rotated the motor to um, close the valve. I'm going to be trying to clean the intake port on cylinder number one. Just spray some down in here and then 
hopefully this works a little bit yeah. you can see it yeah all right so you guys see the intake port this one is like super dirty i think i cleaned this one already you see the difference in there you see how clean it is but i did those all with like a hand pick and a hand brush because i didn't have these drill attachments i found these at harbor freight i was like oh my god this will save me so much time so now look at this one so what what you want to do is like spray some fluid in there wire brush it and then use the vacuum attachment to suck all the debris out and keep repeating the process until it stopped looking so black inside So I switched over to the brass brush because this stuff is like really baked on there. Can you see, maybe you can see it a little bit, there's like, now you can see it, that's a pool of liquid there. Now, you guys can actually see in there, look at that, before you couldn't see nothing, it was all black. Now, look, that is a good view right there, I don't know how I managed to get the light that perfect, but look, it's clean now.